Okay, to better the pay and, and working conditions. All right, anybody got it more specific than that? Reinstate the workers. That's nice and specific. I like that. Okay, what else? Recognize a union. Oh, okay. Meet with the workers in good faith. Meet with the workers in good faith. All right, any other specific ones? All right, I think on the improve the... The, the improved conditions, you want to make it a little more specific than that, right? Or, or set up a process, which is, you know, the meeting or the recognize the union that allows them to fight for that. So, good, good, good. All right. Uh, what kind of time frame on this did people envision? A couple years. Anybody shorter than that? A month. They want the reinstatement a month. That'd be hard to do, but that's a good demand. All right. What do, what do people think on this? 18 months. All right. So, it's you know, two years would be a little long. A month is probably a little fast. So maybe somewhere in between there would be good. All right. Second column. What uh, your your what you had to work with was pretty obvious, right? Because I gave it to you in the thing, right? Um, so what? Did, how did you want to build your network? We had an additional what we had to work with. Oh, okay, go ahead. Two things. We had Ecuadorian partners uh -huh. and stories. Oh, okay. Stories. Stories. Stories of workers. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so. Rights as stockholders. Rights as stockholders. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Also, I'm sorry, other resource we have is others in the PCUSA with experience um, running campaigns, similar campaigns. Ah, okay, so you've got some experience and wisdom in the, in the Presbyterians. Yeah, Liz. Then after tracking the Ecuadorian churches, tracked by two PCSA churches or ecumenical churches in the U.S. have relationships with them. Ah, nice, nice, nice. That's good. Okay, so how do you want to use the campaign to build your network? What were the measurable ways you're going to build that network? Come on, what'd you come up with? Larger mailing list. How large? We didn't say that. Okay, usually you want to give it's a number, time. right? More and better is not so easy. Yeah? We wanted to double our mailing list and our active members. That works, okay, double, okay, good. Anybody else have a specific one? We need to energize some of the non-active members because this is an issue that will touch some of those 40 people that are on our list that are not Absolutely. Some of them are going to be touched, not all of them. <coughs> that's right. And if you can find a way to measure that, that's a great goal, five, actually. Five will give a, a contribution. Ah, five people to give a contribution. Uh huh. I think you need to um, contact the congregations and presbyteries uh, who have representatives in the network and try to mobilize those congregations and presbyteries on behalf of the campaign, um, having them. Uh, writing campaigns or prayer vigils or something like that. Okay, that's on to a tactic. I'm trying to get sort of organizational, how you, what's the trying goals trying for the network? Building the network, building the mission network to involve the congregation. Okay, so, so a goal might be we want to engage 10 additional presbyteries in the campaign. That would be a goal that I think addresses some of what you're saying. Uh-huh, yes sir. Okay, hold on, we're getting on to column, we're getting into tactics, right? Again, all I'm trying to do is get us thinking about column two, which is how are we going to use the campaign to measurably build our network? So what are the goals for that? Are there any other goals before we move in on to column three? Back there. Okay, that's again a tactic. I'm trying to get, are, are there any, uh, it, again, this is, a, this is interesting because this is actually often hard for us because, you know, an organizer 
builds organization, right? You know, you don't just win on stuff. You gotta build your network. You gotta build your organization. You gotta build your mission committee. So I'm trying to get at another goal or two around measurably building your network. Back there. Establish links with three other U.S. denominations who also are involved in Ecuador so that we Got it. Okay, that's a, that's a measurable goal. I like that. Okay, any here? You know, we didn't talk about this uh, at our table, but I'm just going to wonder, given that one of our resources was um, the story of members of churches in Ecuador, uh, if we could access prayer chains around the country and ask for prayers for people in, in these particular churches. Yes, that's a tactic. Again, again the, 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 the thing that we all are tempted to do is to go from the problem or the issue straight to tactics. Wouldn't that build the network though? Again, I'm trying to get you to articulate some goals <laughs> around building your network so that when you get to the tactics, you can make sure that you not only are winning on the issue, but you're building the network, all right? Right here. Kim, this, this is really around resources, building network, but it's around resources. One of the questions that I have is, where does information come in? This is not really a tactic. We found, we put uh, building up a, a database of information, information about you know, who the suppliers are, that kind of thing. It could be seen as a tactic, but really we got to that when we got started talking about what is it actually we want to do, our tactics. We need to have this information as a resource in order to be able to make good decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. You, you can put in that. You can say part of the goal of the campaign is to develop the expertise of our leadership in this particular area. Yeah, so you can put some of that in because, you know, if you have that expertise, you're going to be better equipped to move forward. But again, let's move on because, again, I, I don't want to get lost, but again, it's very important and often hard for faith-based groups to think um, strategically about how to strengthen your own network, right? Because somehow you feel guilty that we're doing that, right? That we shouldn't get something out of it. But, but again, if you don't build your organization, you're not going to be stronger for moving forward the next time. I got, he's got one he's got to say. Now, Go ahead. It's a question more than an answer. Do you have any hints for building the financial resource base? That's one of the resources that you mentioned needed to be identified. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the main thing on fundraising is ask a lot, right? Um, so, so, you know, you have a meeting of your committee, ask every single person on the committee to make a contribution. And, you know, if every, then you send out, you know, for your correlate group, you say we've gotten contributions from eight out of our ten people, we need the other two people to contribute. And then you have your mailing list and as part of everything you do, you ask for money every time. So ask, 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 right? Um, you know, you could make a contribution to IWJ too, that would be just terrific. <laughs> yeah. Um, we thought like you should develop relationships with TV, radio, and news people in this case with li the labor editors, but also with the religion editors. Ah, excellent. Uh, so she's got a organizational goal around media, which is excellent. So they're going to develop a relationship with five uh, media people, right? So again, if you can make it measurable, it'll be easier to make sure that it actually happens. Let's move on to column three. Column three are our constituents and allies. Who are your constituents? Your members, uh huh. Ecuadorian partners. Ecuadorian partners, uh huh. The denominational resource. Right, right. The 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 pres Presbyterians, right? It's primarily Presbyterians and your Ecuadorian partners, right? That that's core, uh huh. Again, we 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 had some discussion around the model here. Okay. Because we agree with what you said about your constituents being the people directly interested, which to us were dull workers. We sort of felt there needed to be a third category okay. between constituents and, and uh, allies that would be something like animators or 
organizers or something because a lot of the PCUSA folks may not have a direct interest in this, but they have a greater level of involvement and awareness and than maybe other allies might that we have to bring along. So we kind of just made that distinction. Yeah, that's fine. Add a third. That's fine. Uh-huh. I think here we sort of talked about Presbyterians in general as our allies, but that our constituents remain the network itself. And we can tap into that. Because that's fine if you want to think about it that way. Again, you know, none of the, the, you know, I'm not rigid on any of this stuff, right? You know, it's a tool to be helpful. If it's, you know, if you need to change it, change it. It's fine. Can you give um, us your definition of a constituent again? A, a constituent are people who are in your organization or you want in your organization. Um, so again, I, if I were doing it, again, I, you know, if you want to change it, I don't, it's fine, right? Um, you know, I would think it's primarily Presbyterians and your Presbyterian partners in Ecuador, right? That, that, that you know, because in fact you would like more Presbyterians in your network, right? Um, but again, however you want to figure it is fine. Let's talk about allies, though. Who are allies for the work? Folks that you really probably don't want in your organization. Not that they're bad people, you just, you know. Other networks? Absolutely. Uh, mission coworkers? Yes. The workers in Ecuador. Yeah, this is one where you can decide whether or not you want to think about the workers as as constituents or allies. Uh, you know, again, you could argue either way on that. Mm -hmm. Unions here. Unions here, absolutely. Lawyers. Mm -hmm. Congregations who have invested in Dole. Ah, okay. Um, and uh, social justice committees that operate in Presbyterian. Okay, unless you want those as your constituents, right? But good, 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 that's a nice list. Back there. Presbyterian churches that buy flowers. Aha, now are those your constituents? Or your, you think they're allies? Okay, all right. I, you know, I, would pro I personally would probably put them more in the constituent category um, because they're probably people, aren't they people you want in your network? You don't want them in your network. You don't want everybody in your network. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's not argue on this one. <laughs> yes, sir. You have to realize, I mean, the network doesn't exist just for this. This is just one thing the network's going to be involved in, and they want to help the people in Ecuador. But the network, the primary reason for the network is something totally okay. beyond this. All right, so yes, sir. That's part of the issue. Uh, two more we had. One was uh, other U.S. Other U.S. unions, other labor unions. Uh -huh. and, uh, these are uh, other allies, yes. And sort of um, ethical business mm -hmm. folks like Anita Roddick, Ben and Jerry, that whole sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, no, that's right. Of, uh, I think that's right. Businesses. Good. Are there other allies? Uh huh. Anyone who's involved in or committed to fair trade products. Fair trade, right? There's a whole set of folks, huh? Uh, potentially our Presbyterian mission responsibility through investment. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That might be a good secondary target, too, mightn't it? Okay, go ahead. Possibly glove manufacturers. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. Why don't we move on to column four? <laughs> Leadership of Dole. All right. Um, who are some secondary targets? Uh -huh. Mitch McConnell. Uh, a couple. Those specific <laughs> board members that have been mentioned that we can get to. But the other one is Presbyterian churches who buy flowers. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Um, now, somebody mentioned Mitch McConnell. But now, why? <laughs> He's married to Elaine Chow, right? So the uh, this is I, the the list of board members is true, actually. Um, she is on the board of of Dole. Uh, so in fact, Presbyterians might have some special ability to reach to Elaine Chow because I assume she's in the state on some regular basis. Um, okay, who are opponents on this? Uh -huh. for a minute. We also added the local manager as a, as a target to try to deal with that at the, the lowest possible level. So yeah, maybe, no, that's right. No, that's maybe right. something that happened before we... No, that's right. It, it, you, you often, when you're dealing with companies, you know, you can have, you know, this target and the person above them as a target and the person above Yeah, so absolutely you could do that. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Target supermarket chains, uh, flower shops. Okay, those are secondary targets. Right. Exactly. Right. Good secondary targets. Absolutely. Um, other, are there other, who's an opponent on this? And, and again, you should have figured your target doesn't agree with you. Are there other opponents on this one? The lobby, <laughs> the lobby groups. Which lobby groups? Flower and um, agricultural associations are lobby groups mm. that yeah. protect the rights, or not the rights, they protect profits. Interest. The, the interest. interest. The interest yeah. of yeah. fruit growers and, <laughs> and uh, the flower, flower association. Groups. Could be. Uh huh. Other? There's probably anti-union Ecuador. Yeah. They probably would play much more of a role in Ecuador than they would in the U.S. But yeah, it could be an opponent. Okay. Again, this is one where you might or might not have strong opponents on it. Let's talk now about some of the tactics. What are some of the ideas that I want an idea from every table that you came up with of what you could do to engage particularly, I want, to, I want things primarily focused on what your <coughs> constituents do, all right? This table, give me one of your best tactics. We want to meet with the local churches in Ecuador to see if we can help them be empowered because maybe the negotiation can happen right there on the ground. We're doing all the heavy tactics here. Maybe those churches themselves have 